Thank you. Houston residents could get some much needed help from the city once again. Today, Mayor Sylvester Turner is expected to announce a second program to offer rental assistance. You may, may remember the city did one back in May and that $15 million to help Houstonians pay their rent was gone in less than two hours. Channel 2's Taisha Walker has more. The two main things that these families who are behind on rent want to hear from the mayor today is how much money and when can they apply. This is the car note, mm -hmm. 913. Yeah. When we first met Trevor Houghton in May, he was struggling to pay rent. He lost his job in the middle of the pandemic and had applied for unemployment. I don't know what to do. I'm in, I'm in a, like, like a, a panic stage because we owe two months of rent. We owe April and May. And, and I don't know if we're going to be put out on the street. A viewer saw that interview and reached into their wallet, but that money has since run out. And the $600 weekly unemployment benefit from the federal government has ended. Today, he's back at square one. Yeah. Like 1700 I'm 1700 on the rent. Houghton also tried applying for the city of Houston's $15 million rent assistance program in May, but didn't get it. The money gone in 90 minutes. I knew going into, into it that the need would uh, be greater than the amount provided. At a 3 o'clock press conference today, Mayor Turner is planning to announce additional funds to help low-income families struggling to pay rent like Houghton and so many of his north side neighbors. She got evicted. I mean, she can't pay. She can't, you know what I'm saying? People just, you know, kicked her out and told her that she couldn't stay there no more. She don't have no money. She on disability. Houghton says he's applied for Harris County's assistance program, too, which he also didn't get. He's hoping the city's new wave of funds will help him stay in his apartment. That press conference is scheduled to take place here at City Hall at 3 o'clock. From downtown, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.